Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCE video series. Today's video is on use variables to retrieve the results of running a command. So this one's a pretty straightforward one. So we're just going to run a command um, and then we're going to store that command output as a variable and then we're going to use that variable um, to then um, which maybe do a check on that variable and then see if it's in the right state for us to do something with it and if it is then we're going to um, execute command if the variable is in a specific um, state so let's give this a go so what I'm using as an example is we're going to check if um, a specific configuration is set within a uh, in this case HTTPD config file and if it is um, we will just ignore the, f the update and we won't do anything with the file if it's not got the relevant um, config update in there, we're going to actually replace the file and um, update that. And obviously, we could we could chain that with potentially calling um, other uh, YAML files to perhaps like restart HTTPD. But yeah, I'm just going to cover a very um, simple example as always. Um, so yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward. So just launch the terminal as always. Um, I think I need to be rude because I think I've put the file in there for now so it doesn't really matter too much okay let's go in here okay and I think it's variables oh, cd root and then variables yep okay so I've got yeah a load of files from previous got the inventory file is the most important one okay so let's create a simple file um, so on our client machine we've obviously got HTTPD installed um, and I'm going to do a check for specific line uh, that should be set on that system. Uh, let's go and create a new file. What should we call it? Um, check underscore send file HTTPD but yeah well, so it's pretty descriptive to what it is um triple dashes um we'll do a host all but we could potentially say host web servers as always tasks and we're going to do hyphen name um check if oh, put in quotes uh, check if send file is enabled in the Apache config that'll do and then we we're going to run a shell command and we're going to do a grep most easiest way to find out if something's set in a file is definitely with a grep and then we've got enable send I've got to be careful with the case with this file on and that will be an etc httpd conf and then httpd dot conf we're then going to register that so that's going to register as a variable the output of this and we're going to register as let's just call it send file and we're going to ignore any errors because we don't want this to to um to bomb out or uh, end the execution if there's an issue um because we may get um we have certainly with shells we may get potentially some um errors and stuff like if the file's not found etc so we would ignore errors equals true so we just set it there and let's do a another name for the next task we're then gonna update the apache config where invalid and we do the ansible dot built in dot copy oh i do use this interchangeably occasionally so this is like the fully qualified name of it. Um, you could potentially just use copy 
um, and it should it will still do it like shell for example but they do recommend you do that it's, it's a habit I've been trying to get into but yeah um, I don't use it all the time but yeah certainly do. if it's got other modules potentially called copy or something like that it, you could have could run into issues so using the ansible dot built in certainly helps make sure you're using the right module so we're going to have the source file as I think it's on the root directory and then just httpd dot conf so that would be my good known good file and then dest etc httpd conf and then httpd dot conf and now we're going to set a where, oh sorry, when, and we're going to only run this when send file is not equal to enable send file on. So as you know, um, what will grep will do is if it matches, um, all it will do is actually just print out the same text. So we could potentially do something around to get the uh, error, the uh, return value. However, this will do the job just fine. So I'm gonna only run this this particular section when the send file is not equal to enable send file on. Otherwise, I will not do anything. So that's the joy of doing there. It's pretty simple. Let's see if it runs okay. So and then I'm gonna do an Ansible iPhone playbook and it'll be checks and file minus i inventory that should do it oh i've got name rather than name that will probably do it let's just go check that i have indeed got that wrong i've got the wrong name easily fixed Looks a bit better. So it's going to gather the facts. Yeah, I've got some other systems that. Okay, so it's saying that it, it was okay. So it's it's um, not changed the config file. So what we'll do is just open another terminal. Um, just open a new tab. Um, let me just go check the IP of the host. That will be cat inventory. Um, that was my IP here, isn't it? Client one. So two dot eight. So okay. So it was let's just run the grep command. Hey, that would be the very easiest way. So we'll grab my grep command. Who wants to type stuff twice? And we can see it's definitely reporting back okay. So let's go ahead and break this now. That's read only. I need to be root. Okay, enable send file is there, so let's go and turn it off in the config. Okay, so that's now broken, so let's go check what the grep will return. So it's going to return absolutely nothing because the grep doesn't match. So we then go and write, rerun my Ansible playbook. And we give it a moment, and it thinks about it, and We've got an error this time. So if you look at this, we've got command grep. Da, 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 da. It came out and we have a non-zero return code. So it's a good sign that it didn't match anything, which is return code of one. Um, so it's it's standard error lines. It's got no output really because we know that. And we've got an ignoring. So I told it to ignore errors and not crash and fail when we point to this point. But then we've got the update the Ansible config where invalid. It actually got us a change where it had a OK last time. So if we go and double check it, just literally rerun the grep, we can see it's now matching again. So this will fix it anytime um, it's broken. 
So if we rerun this again, it's completely safe to just run it again. It won't actually do anything with it. It will just go through and complete. So it can be a good, it, this can be a good thing to um, double check things on systems and if required update um, configs across the board where, where required. Um, so you can obviously do checks where, I don't know if it's got a very specific config, we don't replace the file or if it's got, um, if it's got a particular package installed, then we um, uninstall that package. That could be an example. You can do all kinds of things. So it's a, it's a, it's a good way to um, extrapolate the, the, the data you've got um, using Ansible. So um, yeah, there's, you can, there's probably lots of um, examples you could come up with, but yes, yeah, it's just food for thought. And um, this is just a very simple example I've come up with. Um, yeah, I hope this, um, video has been useful to you and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you. Right now I've just popped up on my sc on the screen uh, my Tee Public page. Uh, that's for any kind of CSG merch if that's anything you're interested in. Uh, got my Kofi page um, for any kind donations um, if that's uh, something you're interested in. Um, yep and also just the details of my Discord server. So that's the best place to ask questions. Um, also, we've got, obviously, you can ask questions in the comments and I'll try and um, help out where I can. But Discord Pace is a great place. We've got a bit of a community going there. And um, you can reach out to myself and also the community and someone will try and help you. Um, yeah, it's a great community we're building there. Well, thanks again and I'll see you at the next video. Cheers.